Hello, I'm Joshua Alfred. And I'm Matthew Palacios. And we're going to show you today how to use the Imagine Shape Toolbench on Inkatia to create Mac from Fossil Tone for Imaginary Friends. Alright, so to start off, we'll go to click Start, go to Imagine Shape, and then we'll name him Mac. I mean, well, he's Mac. He's not, you know, Joe or Blue or Frank from the series. We'll name him Mac. Click OK. Type it in, click OK. So first, we're actually going to use the revolve command to create the cylinder, which will be the his shape for his head. All right. So go ahead and just make the similar kind of curved cylinder. You can edit your points using the edit points command on the on tools palette, and you can kind of get a little small shape off of it. Nothing too nothing too crazy. Just a simple curved cylinder of sorts. Click click the check mark to confirm and deselect the manipulation bar to uh, basically create. His face. Also, be sure to right-click and name this new new subdivision set his face, so that you can keep track of it. Also, we're going to do a similar thing again with the revolve command, but do it right around his head, so that you create his hair. This will be used. This will be the basic structure for his hair. So go ahead and make a similar shape like before when we did made his face, and just you know manipulate it, make it a little bit larger, um, so that it kind of make, make, get a nice little board. You can look at a picture of it. Okay, so the next command we'll use is the extrude command. Um, now this is the one where it actually has a, a box with a sphere inside of it. And we'll use this to create the, um, the outline of his hair that's going to go around his face. So you actually see his facial features that we'll create later, such as his nose and his eyes. Be sure when using the, uh, the extrude command to for his face, you click on the little invert button. It looks like a pair of, a pair of circles go around in a circle. Um, use that and click on the front features of his face so that you can act so we can actually pat out actually remove what's going to be where his face is going to be after that um, if you look at the if you double click on on where on the on his hair on the specification bar you can actually go down to the bottom of his, of his hair and push it back a little bit using the using translation so it's just so it stays out of the way it doesn't kind of creep forward keeps it more at his neckline Go ahead. You can right-click on each each part. Go to properties, and then click on graphic. And you can change the color of his face and his hair to like a tan and a brown color. All right. Next, to create his body. We're actually going to use another cylinder, which we'll use the rotate command. Um, so it'll be vertical um, with his uh, head, and then we'll go ahead and use translation command to move it down where the top of the cylinder will meet the bottom of his head. After that, we'll deselect um, the entire cylinder, select the top of it, and use the affinity command to you know scale it down to create his neck. Yeah, the placement's pretty arbitrary. Kind of use, use a picture of Mac to get an idea of exactly how big his neck is in, rel in, respect, to, in respect to the rest of his body and in respect to his head. It's not, it's, not, it's not really big, but it's not too small either. So don't. So don't panic if you make it a little bit small, you can use the finish command and stretch it back out if you need to. Once you're done with that, go ahead and do the same thing to the bottom. Select the bottom four uh, panels, well, actually, bottom surface. You're going to use the fanning command and the translation command to make it smaller and to move the bottom of what would basically be his body closer to his head, similar to how you see in this picture where his t shirt is. This, this will be the basic framework for when we make his t shirt as well. To make his t-shirt, what you need to do is, is go ahead, copy and paste 
body piece that you just created, copy and paste that into your part body. This will make a, a, a completely similar uh, basic body shape where his current body is. And select the top surfaces again and move them back and move move it down a little bit. This will keep create a little bit of a distinction between the top of the top of his shirt and where his neck is. Go ahead and select the also select the top for uh, the top of the circle the cylinder again and they can use the infinity command to make it bigger so you can make the distinction between his t-shirt and and his neckline. Be sure to also rename this t-shirt and also name and also color it red trademark of well Mac. Next we're actually going to create his sleeves. To do that we're going to use guess it another cylinder and then we'll use the um, affinity command to size it down and then we'll actually rotate and translate it to where his sleeve is roughly about 45 degrees from his side. Um, just, you know, put it where you normally would put his shoulder, okay? So sticking out 45 degrees out, and then you can actually use the, um, the translation, translation command to move it into his body so it's at the appropriate length. Yeah, use a picture of Mac whenever possible. It gives you the best idea of where things, will, where a lot of his uh, features will definitely go. Also, be sure to use the affinity command to size it, size down the sleeves so they don't look like long sleeves because he doesn't wear long sleeves. He has an undershirt on, which we'll be making a little bit later in the video. To make a, a similar copy of his uh, of his sleeves, select his select the sleeve, click the symmetry command, and then click the ZX plane since we're going across its front view. This will let you make an exact copy on the opposite side. Be sure to also use the hide and show command because it does disappear when you first use the symmetry command. We're going to use a cylinder again to create his pant legs. Um, we'll go ahead and use rotation command um, to make sure it's orthogonal to the bottom of his waist. Use affinity command to size it down, um, you know, the upper thigh portion. And then we'll deselect and select the bottom portion, use affinity command, and size it down around his ankles to the uh, appropriate size. From there, we'll use translation, kind of bring it up to where the bottom of his pants would be. Be sure not to accidentally select any other surfaces. You might get some funny results in the process. And just select all your surfaces and get it to roughly where you'd say the bottom of his pant leg would be. Use it, once again, use a picture of Mac to get an idea of how proportional it is to the rest of his body. Also, what you can do is to make sure his legs look a little bit more closely resemble to that his actual character look. Use use the surface, click on the surface, and then click use the translation. You can manipulate separate surfaces by themselves to create what his pant leg looks from his front or left or right side view. You can also use the select by edge, which is the next icon over from the little surface, or by point, where you can select different points and move those individually around, or select multiple ones if you use the control and click command. This takes a little bit of time, so be sure to reference your pictures and design close to how, how his pant legs would work. Right. When, you're, when you're done making, making one of his pant legs, once again you use the symmetry command. Click on this pant leg, click the ZX plane, it will once again copy it over to the opposite side. Maybe you need adjustments if you need to, because if you only because if you adjust at least the main leg, which was which is copied from, the same command the same design changes will be will be shown in this in the copied leg. Go ahead and name it your name your pant legs and color them into their respective colors. Alright, next we're going to create some kicks for uh, Mac here. So we'll use a cylinder, rotate, we'll translate it to where the cylinder is just under his pant leg. And then we'll go ahead and use affinity command to get it around the right size of his shoes. Once again, reference um, the picture of Mac to make sure his feet aren't too big. Then uh, use the translation command to get it about to where his uh, bottom of his pant leg is you know, tangent with that shoe.